Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of Gabriel, the archangel. God is our strength. Nope, not man. Now nah, he's the false god. Quick acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right. Now, interesting what today is. Today is the day of, that will make uh, the solar eclipse seven days from when it happened. Yes, that's what today is. Um, seven day full cycle. Let's see what we got. And today is 828. And that means all things working. Yeah, all things. Uh, Romans 828 is today. The Romans 828, all things working together for our good. So is some things going to work together for people good eventually? Let's go see. All right. But the topic of this message that really God, I mean, I was really God and plus me is so feel strong led because you know what I've been talking about and talking about the love of God and talking about um uh yesterday of royalty that we, we need to be about royalty concerning the crown. You know, we're we're here to be royal, you know what I'm saying? And we need to understand how much we put, if we truly love God, seriously, we will take God's word seriously about performing it concerning who we are, you know what I'm saying? And who we are, you know what I'm saying? Not in our actions, not in our lip service, but in our actions, as it says in Mark 7, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we need to really, truly be uh, the people of God because we are of God. So the thing is, uh, the topic of this message is 1 John 5. And uh, uh, 2 and <clears throat> 2, we're going to start 2 and... No, I should have put that in there. Yes. Oh, I did put that before. Yeah, four. Two and four. And it says, by this, we know that we love the children of God. When we love God, when we love God and keep his commandments. Yes, keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we, now that we, not, not individuals. Yes, individuals are supposed to be keeping the commandments. But pretty much Paul is talking about a collective that we keep his commandments. You know? mm -hmm. And we keep his commandments. And the thing is, mm -hmm. we keep his commandments and, uh, and his commandments are not grievous. You know what I'm saying? For whosoever is born of God, when it says born of God, it's talking about the born again spirit that we supposed to develop, that is supposed to mature to a, you know, spirit man. Uh, if we're allowed, if we are feeding it the things of God, you know what I'm saying, the milk and the meat, it will mature to a uh, spirit man. And it says, uh, uh, whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory over the world, even our faith. Now, now, the topic of this message is talking about how the reality of the love of God uh, overcoming the world, you know, the love of God overcoming the world, or more likely, well, let me see, reality of those who have the love of God overcomes the world. And what we need to understand that we are supposed to be about overcoming the world. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, it's sad 
how the state of Christianity is um, when it comes to love that, you know, you need to evaluate. You need to question other Christians to evaluate. You know what I'm saying? Because not not to be little Christians says you 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 don't got the love of God. You don't got the love of God. No, it's I'm not talking about that. But it's time out to question concerning every Christian that they need to examine their love of God. If they're truly about being of God, you need to be truly about the love of God as what first John is really conveying. That you know we uh that we love the children of God. When we love God, we will keep his commandments. And the thing is, we should be about in the commandment of that Jesus Christ give us is love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. And loving your neighbor is supposed to be the, the great part? agenda so in the uh, closet. Sorry. Great And it's supposed to be a great agenda as Christians, you know, need to understand that uh, uh, Christians need to understand that people, uh, that we need to be on a love agenda. This is a love agenda and we're supposed to be showing forth a great love that beareth all things, believeth all things, endure all things, that that fulfills the whole commandment of First Corinthians um, 13, 4 through 8. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, we need to understand that it's supposed to totally be about that. Uh, we're supposed to be totally about that. And the problem is Christians are not, a lot of Christians are not giving them Honestly, not questioning their love towards God and their, uh, you know what I'm saying, their love towards God that, that supposed to show forth the performance of the love towards men concerning what we talk about and what we do. You know what I'm saying? Is, is it, are we, are we, are the children of God? You know what I'm saying? And this is talking about that if we are, the children of God, and we have this born again spirit that uh, matures to the uh, spirit man. We are supposed to be overcoming the world, but hmm, I wonder what does John mean overcoming the world? You know, we can take you know this and say, well, we're supposed to overcome the world through uh, the temptations of it, and you know, uh, and, and overcome the, the, the wickedness that it shows for us, towards us that we won't allow the world system wickedness and the temptation of it to uh, uh, draw us back into darkness, that we uh, overcome the world through our love for God and stuff. Yes, it is saying that too, but I believe it's saying more than just that. I be truly believe that this is talking about literally overcoming the world. See, you know, not just being just a church anymore, but being a body of Christ that is united because it says we, you know what I'm saying, love, you know, the children of God and we love God and we, we, it's a we factor. It's not an individual factor. You know what I'm saying? That we need to understand this is not an individual factor. This is we coming together and coming together. See, it says that the born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. That this is the victory. We're supposed to have victory over darkness. We're supposed to have victory over this world system. We are the light that's supposed to beat the darkness. You know what I'm saying? We... It's, it's sad concerning the world system that we live in each and every day that we, you know, are not, you know, that there's dark, the darkness is, you know, winning based upon the influence and based upon the state of majority of the people in this world is living in a dark state of, 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 of darkness, pretty much. They're living in wickedness. They're living in lust. They're living after the things of that. 
nature, majority of the world is, and we are the light supposed to counteract this force of darkness, and I believe we're supposed to be winning, you know, because we are the light, because light overcome darkness, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? Um, we're supposed to be dominant, but we're not being dominant. And the thing is, it, it, we're not being dominant over the darkness that must needs to happen to truly be true representation of Jesus Christ concerning his victory, overcoming the death, victory, overcoming everything that comes against him. We are supposed to be, you know, showing for this dominant, victorious power of Jesus Christ. But we're not doing that in this world system. And the condition of the darkness of this wicked world and where it is right now is showing that we're not doing. You know what I'm saying? Concerning how much wrong that is going on in this world system. But very soon, we're going to overcome this world system with the power of Jesus Christ. That uh, the love, through the love of the God, through those that are the children of God, will manifest a power of Jesus Christ that will overcome the world. Those that are willing to become one, one body, one faith, one baptism, to be one and one accord will overcome the world. And that's what really God has in store uh, in the near future, that we will be that church that becomes one and show forth the love of God that that the true power of the power of Jesus Christ that rose from the dead, you know what I'm saying, that we will show the world that Jesus Christ is Lord, that will happen, uh, Romans 15 will happen, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, concerning that we as a body of Christ will manifest the praises of God that, you know, so greatly that people will know the manifestation power of the true gospel of Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ died for. And that's going to happen very soon. So I hope you get ready to develop the love of God inside you that will overcome the world, that will show forth the victory that Jesus Christ that gave, gave us a long time ago, that we're not really manifesting the true power of it. And it's going to happen very soon. So those that be ready and get ready for this move of God, that is the great, probably going to be the greatest move of God that is going to ever happen in this earth. Ever happen. That you need to get ready and prepare for that God is going to do to overcome the world truly by the power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All right, that's the message. Get ready to overcome the world. But first, you have to develop the true love of God to be about this movement to overcome the world. And that's the message. God be the glory of him for forever in Jesus' name. Amen.